Before I update you on everything that I'm going to be doing today, I would love to introduce today's sponsor, which is Identity. I haven't been using the internet because I've been working on PowerPoint this whole time, but every time I use the World Wide Web, I always use Identity to declutter, to organize everything that I do online. Identity is not a stranger to my channel. I absolutely swear by it, but if you haven't heard of it, it's basically a home screen for your internet usage. So when I open Google, I always go to Identity and that's where I start my day that's where i started to work each tile is a link where you go to and you can favorite the, the links that you go to most or that you want to go to most and you can organize them by categories i really like to do that by keywords and i love to make everything pretty with icon i feel like it creates a much more intentional space online because i don't wander when I'm going through a website, if I'm studying, I'm not going to go to the entertainment category. It's been helping me stay a lot more focused in my internet space. And if you're doing research papers or presentations and stuff like that, for me, when I have like a thousand links opened, you can just create tiles and create a separate category for that particular project. It's just amazing. Plus, you have a to-do list section and a calendar section where you can view your tasks for the day and your schedule for the day. I absolutely love it and it's free to use, so you can sign up with the link in my description. So thank you so much to Identity.
so in my experience um exam season is kind of brutal every single time it's kind of impossible for you to have everything study that you wanted to study and it, like it's always there's always a rush in the end and there's always this helplessness in the end the way that you can combat it the most is to establish a routine and establish something that you look forward to every day even if it's really small it's kind of a marathon you can cram and i've crammed multiple times and i've always turned out lucky i've always passed but it's a lot better for you establish a routine for like a month we have we are lucky enough that we have a few weeks of just studying dedicated study study weeks unfortunately they are the christmas weeks so i just uh today because it's the first day i just went through an excel file and I just planned the next few weeks. On Christmas Eve, I have to study something. Same thing for New Year's. You don't have classes or anything like today. You can make your own schedule and you can study for as long as you want, as long as it's sustainable for like a month or something. I'm going to have three exams this semester and uh, one of the exams is really important and the really important exam is going to be right in the middle So fortunately, they're going to go over or unfortunately, I don't know if which I would prefer but They're going to be more spaced. So it's going to be a real marathon um, Like I said, it's really important to establish a routine where you kind of just Try your, be your best to feel normal and hold on to hope and just reassure yourself that you've done this before and everything turned out fine and so this will too yeah that's what i kind of do now i'm gonna go out to catch the, the bus because um today i'm not gonna study here and basically i can study at home in very particular mind spaces it's much easier for me to study outside of the house which sucks because it's cold and the house is nice and cozy and you like to spend Christmas with like your pets because I'm setting the schedules myself I can leave the house at like 10 and stay there until like 7 so it's like 9 to 5, 9 to 6, like you know a regular work day and then when you come home you kind of relax because my idea is that I'm not gonna study at night unless I really have to like at night is going to be for sleeping and for relaxing so you'll see later in the day I want to to make like the 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 last meal of the day really relaxing like dinner time is my favorite time i'll read my books or i watch a tv show and i just relax for the day so i can repeat because this is really about consistency uh, being able to keep it up so yeah that's what we're gonna do Falling deeper, cold and nice, that no more shit on. Keep that eggy and no more kid on. Then that's how I wish you go. Keep them on all and go to him. I can't just can't. Cause your name, I'm burned. I don't need a summer. That's what you're
9 p.m. actually. I just had dinner and I watched the last episode of Dexter. I didn't watch the previous Dexter uh, TV sh series, but I'm watching the new show that's coming out. It's been really interesting. I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to relax. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> But I didn't finish all of my tasks. I did do like three exercises in like 15 minutes before I left. Still needed to study a few slides of the breast cancer. And what else? And I wanted to do, but I'm not going to do this today. <sighs> I'm going to keep my word and rest. Like stop studying for the day. Almost 10, really. I think it is so, so important when you're, like I've mentioned a few times, an exam routine is all about being able to sustain it. So you're gonna have to find time to sleep and kind of re reset for the next day. It really makes a difference to, to have that in your routine. Even just a few minutes, getting rid of all that mess can really make a difference tomorrow.